Hi everyone, my name is Sana Albers. I'm from the University of Washington. And I'm Bruce Weir, also from the University of Washington. So today we're going to give you a preview of our forensic genetics course. This is part of our uh, online courses this summer, online because, they, because of the pandemic, of course. We've been getting some experience in using Zoom sessions and we've found that we quite like it. It gives us plenty of opportunities for discussion. We can set up uh, small groups to do group work and so forth. So as in the past years, we will start with an overview of human identification from fingerprints and ABO typing to sequencing data. And although sequencing data technically only increases the number of observed alleles, depending on the underlying sequence variation, of course, we need to reassess existing models. So we will review methods for generating DNA profiles and we'll give an overview of probabilistic genotyping. Now we will also review the forensic principles of evidence interpretation, the calculation of likelihood ratios, and the hierarchy of propositions. Then we will talk a bit about how bias may occur in a forensic setting, and we will see how this may lead to potential fallacies. Now during the course we will make use of examples and exercises to deepen our understanding and to practice with calculating likelihood ratios for different scenarios. So after this discussion of the forensic principles, we'll move on to the more statistical ones. And we'll talk about things like Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, linkage disequilibrium, and leading into population structure. Talk about the, the theta correction. And here are some estimates of theta from our worldwide survey of, our, of SDR profiles. Another form of uh, dependence is between individuals. And we've seen a recent interest, of course, in, in our genealogical searching. So here's um, the scenario for a case recently um, studied and processed in Washington State. A perpetrator was found because his cousins had um, done 23andMe typing. We'll also talk about things like uh, lineage markers, YSTRs, and mitochondrial DNA. So once you register for the course, um, you'll get access to our pre-recorded lectures and information about downloading any data and software. So during the course, we'll have real-time sessions with substantial interaction among us all, um, and you will be able to discuss issues you have been facing in your own work. So we look forward to seeing you on um, July 27, 28, and 29 um, with real-time sessions between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. Pacific time. So uh, good to uh, see you. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in July. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.